5B. I've got a little racing board over here. Okay, 5B, ready? Okay, 5B is we need to find, uh, 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 find PK. And now we can take advantage of the fact that under standard conditions, um, where, you know, so, so uh, uh, under since we know that the Gibbs free energy under standard conditions delta G naught is equal to minus RT natural log of K where this K is not the K of Kelvin it's the mass action law is the equilibrium constant and so then we can take advantage of the fact that the natural log of something is going to be equal to 2.303 times the log of something since e to the 2.303 is equal to 10. So this means this is equal to 2.303 times rt times minus log of k. And now we can take advantage of the fact that minus log of anything is P of that thing, where the P stands for what? Power. Power. Okay, so this is PK. And so now essentially this part here you don't need to include in your answer. You could just state this if you and essentially you could even cut to the chase and, and save more space and just tell me that delta G naught is equal to uh, delta G naught is equal to 5.7 kilojoules per mole times pK. So you could even skip this step and go right to here. Because this is something that's going to, this is a thing that's going to repeat itself a lot. And that means that, therefore, PK is equal to um, delta G naught over 5.7 kilojoules. And that means that's equal to what we found is 63.62. divided by 5.7 kilojoules per mole. Now we have to divide, and this is where we get our scratch paper out. And I guess I'll do it over here. I'm going to go 5.7 goes into 63.62. And I'll move this over one and this over one. And 50, 57 goes into 63 once. 7, 14 subtract 7 is 6, uh, 66, which is going to be another 1, and that's 57 again. 6 minus 7 is, uh, 7 is 9, 92, which is again 1. And then that's going to be 57, it's going to drop down from Five, eight is three hundred and three hundred and fifty, and three hundred and fifty is going to be divisible by well, it's going to be off close to six, six, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we'll try six and see how. Okay. Uh, six times 
seven is 32. Uh, 42. Uh, two, 40, six times five is 30. So three, yeah, that worked. Okay. And that's close enough. So now we that was scratch paper over here. That's equal to, so PK is equal to 11.16. And that completes problem part B. Okay?